Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world equally call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world equally call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Also, Shalom to you, brothers, you Akim, that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's uh, also uh, spreading names, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers. Though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst, which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if... Your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people that you see here on this chart through the man. And if your spirit bear witness with this word, this truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child. This does apply to you. You are Israelites as well. Though you do look like the heathen nations you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people in this chart. So once again, you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 to 15, verse 1 down. Their spirit bear witness with this word, this truth that they're the sons and of sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemo Shah. Most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man. Also, to the few Akwaf, you few like sisters that do listen and learn and believe, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, whatever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to as well. Shalom to you as well. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you could bond, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who the world can be called Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And, um, oops. To everybody that is tuning in, I want to talk about singer Marcus Houston, okay? He rose from infamy or fame. With the group Immature, he was also an actor on the Sister to Sister show. Uh, and now, years later, he is in a bit of a controversy that, of course, speared up uh, by social media. And it has a lot to do with who he is engaged to. Now, Marcus Houston went viral. And I even tweeted about it. That tweet uh, actually got retweeted by him. Now, I will say this, though. The tweet did look nonsensical. It's because I didn't proofread it before I pressed send. But he even retweeted it. Other people retweeted it. I had a bunch of, you know, uh, particular uh, older women or angry women responding to that tweet. They were upset that I would, you know, defend him. Well, let me just say this first, okay? This is not in defense, but this video is going to be why he is getting the criticism that he is getting for who he is with. Now, he's getting criticized for having a young girlfriend, right? And one of the things I don't understand, I'm taking, I'm using a very logical red pill perspective on this. Why do people care? People are acting like he went to some high school and recruited this chick to be his girlfriend. Or, he, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, he just swooped in and, you know, snatched her away from her life and just started dating her. We don't really know. I mean, we, I know they, they met, I think, through mutual friends, I, I believe. But people are making it seem as if he's just out there chasing Girls that are just extremely, extremely, extremely young, okay? Which I don't think is the case. I want people to understand something. When you have no proof, but you're making accusations, you're going to get people who are defensive about that, especially in this era we have the Me Too situation. We have men who are being accused of things. So, uh, yeah, that's it, but this was actually two months ago, but I had seen it recently, you know? And I just wanted to do a video on it. And this comment says that she's 19, he's tripping. Regardless of what anyone says, she's like a child compared to him. You see, and that's... Let's get the scriptures. Let me just get the scriptures. You see?
bear with me while I look for this scripture. Because you people don't understand. Let me get actually start with Psalms 82. I'm going to get this, then I'm going to get my point. You people don't understand, you know, how things are act, how things really work. Let me get this. This is uh, Psalms 82 and 1. It says, Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? And this is speaking to you, to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. How long are you going to accept Esau his ways, man? It's being found out that this man's the devil. That this man, he's the problem. You see? It says, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. The, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand that they walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. Because East, why is it darkness on the planet Earth? Because Esau, even the, the so-called white man, okay, he spread nothing but lies, man. Everything that he said is, is bad, okay, is really not bad. You know, and everything he says is good is not good, you see? Because, let me uh get something real quick. 12... So bear with me real quick. <laughs> All right, so this is um this is uh let me see. I'm going uh, to start with Mark 5 and 36. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Well, I'll start at 35. It says, while he, while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead, which troubles thou the master any further. As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James. And John, the brother of James, and he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. So I want to get damsel. All right. So the word damsel is pidion. Pidion. And it says a young child, a little, well, it says a little boy, a little girl. It says an infant, but it usually says young woman as well. You see? Hold on. All right, let me keep reading. And it says... Let me see. Where did I pick up? Leave off at. It says, And they laughed him to scorn, but when he had put them out all... All out, he taketh the father and the dam mother of the damsel, and them that were with child with him, Slakia, and enter in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by hand, said unto her, Talitha Kami, Kami, which is being interpreted damsel, I say unto thee, Arise, and straightway the damsel arose, and for she was the she, arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years old, and they were astonished with great astonishment. But another one is Yahawasha, you know. Actually, you know what? This is one. This is 2 Kings 2, 21 and 1. And Manasseh was 12 years old, right? So today's world, that's what? It's considered, you know, uh, you're still considered a child in this world. But really, according to the scriptures, uh, uh, when you hit your uh, puberty, you know, the flower of your age, you know, you start to, uh, uh, you know what puberty is. You see, I don't have to break that down for you. When you reach that point, you know, then you're considered adult. That's how it is in the ancient world, and it's still to this day. But because you got the devil in power, he's told you that, nah, they're not an adult. They're still a kid. You see, let me read this. It says, And Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and reigned 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was 
Hezv, Hez, Heziba. Okay? And it goes in, you know, how he went off. But Manasseh, you know, he was 12 years old, man. He was just what, what you would consider in this world a, a, a kid. But he was a king. You know, he was ruling. You see? So, I don't see what's going, what's, what's the big deal is. But the thing is, the earth is in darkness because of the Esau Edom. Okay? And it's out of course. You see? He tells you that um, a woman, a young woman, okay, that's that's already hit her puberty state, okay, she's uh, uh she's not old enough for you to uh, marry her, you see? And you got this dude, Marquise Houston, she's 18, according to Esau's uh, system, you know, 18 and up, it's okay, but you still got some people that still got a problem with it, but the majority of these people, you know, they, they see that, all right, it's not bad, but... You got some people that still think that's a problem. Because he's, what, 39? And she's 19? So it's a 20-year age difference, man. You see? But that's because this world's out of course, man. You see? If you uh, hit your puberty stage was around 12, 13, you're considered an adult. That's in the scriptures. This is why Manasseh was uh, put in power to reign. And Yahweh shot. One more. Then I'm going to uh, get the other scripture. Esau changing the thing, the definitions on these uh these blue light apps too because that says something else. Let me see. Hold on. There's plenty of scriptures that tie into this. Let me see. Alright. This is Luke. Luke, um, let me see how I'm going to start it. I'm going to start Luke uh, 3 and uh, 36. And it says, And there was at one Anna, a prophetess, meaning she was a wife you know, of a prophet. Doesn't mean she was an actual prophet. But it says, The daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher, she was of great age and had lived with an husbandman, a husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow about four score and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served Yahweh with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for her redemp for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned unto Galilee to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the and the grace of Yahweh Yahweh was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was twelve. Years old, which is going into Yahushua, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Yahushua tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they supposing to have, but they supposing to have him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they saw him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing him and asking them questions. And it says, And all that heard him were astonished as understanding answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou dealt, thus, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I saw for these sorrows. So they're saying, where have you been? We've been looking for you. Right? And it says, and he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business. So he told her, like, look, basically, I ain't got time, you know, for for uh, for what y'all got right now. I'm about my father's business. I'm about the business of Yahweh. See? 
But he was able to uh, uh to just you know roam around like he was because he was twelve. He basically was uh, uh hit his you know adulthood basically. You see, but this society tells you opposite. This society tells you you're considered an adult at the age of eighteen. Why do you think once uh you know kids you know once they hit you know uh, around eleven, twelve, mainly twelve, thirteen. They start doing things, you know, you got to really, you know, throw the hammer down on them. You see, because they start doing things that you uh, are trying to prevent them to do. If you give them sin, you see. Let me get, um, let me get another scripture. All right. Because he's not going off. This is, um. Uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 35. It says, And this I speak for you of for your own profit, that not that I not slack you. Not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, and that and, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. But if any man think that he had behaved himself uncomely toward his virgin, and she passed the flower at her age, which is what? The puberty. So let me get that. Let me just type flower at age in the um Let's see what pops up. If Esau ain't changed that. Right? This is uh what it's saying. It says they missed the meaning of the phrase past the flower of her age. Which simply means that, it's, that she is now menstruating. Right? She has her uh, periods and everything. Has reached her childbearing years and is ripe for marriage. The flower of her age is when she first begin, begins to menstruate. And this usually occurs around the age 12 or 13. Because you're considered an adult by then. You see? But this world is otherwise. This world is backwards. And I'm going to get in that. So going back. I'm going to read it again. First Corinthians 7 and 36. I'm going to read it again. It says, but if any man think... That he behave himself uncomely toward his virgin. If she passed the flower of her age and needs so required, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. Let them marry. You seen that dude with R. Kelly? You know? They try they try to do the same thing with him. They put him on blast and demonized him, you know, for a period of time, which I don't, you know, really care about R. Kelly, because you know he's a part of this satanic system. He's used as a tool, but this is the same uh, issue that happened with him and plenty of other people, you see. But they're not really going off, you see. Because those, 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 those women, because that's what they are, women, that they dealt with past the flower of their age, man. You see. Now, it would have been something else if, if adultery came into it, but that's not the case here, man. So he's not going off. But according to this society, I'm going to get that. It says that in Job, the 20th chapter. This is, um, I think it's Job 18, actually, or Job 21. Bear with me. See, he's done, he did nothing wrong. You people got the problem, though. It was actually Job the 10th chapter. It's Job 10 and 20. He says, Are not my days few? Cease then, and let me alone, that I may take comfort a little. Before I go whence, I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. And you know what he's talking about. He's talking about America in this verse, man. This is the land of darkness and the shadow of death, man. You could die anyway here, man. Okay? And just pr and proving... That this land, just how you people react, you know, basically how things was done back in the ancient world. You react, you know, with this westernized mindset showing you that you're in darkness, man. You don't know what the hell's going on. You just, you just out here, man. You see? It says, in a land of darkness as darkness itself and the shadow of death. Without any order, where is the light? Where the light is as darkness, man. Because he, he's not going off, but 
what he did is, is darkness in this world, man. You see, being a whore, you know, playing the field, you know, going out and partying, you know, getting white girl wasted, dealing with you women that this applies to, okay, that's considered the light in this society. Well, this society's out of order, man. Okay? It's out of course. Let me actually get that Isaiah 24. Because this is what's happened. You see? Since these Edomites been in power, this was this what tra this was transpired. Right? This Isaiah 24 and 4 says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The holy people of the earth do languish, man. You can't be a man in society. Okay? Society caters to a woman. Okay? You got the wicked that's ruling. And they get to... Here it is. The, 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 the Esau, he'll tell you that you dealing with a, 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 a woman that's past the flower of her age, you know, that he'll label you what? A child molester. You see, a predator, a child predator. But meanwhile, you know, dealing with the churches, dealing with the uh, the um the Hollywood and all, you know, the government, they messing with little boys, man. That's way out. That's way out of order. You know, they dealing with little boys, but they tell you you can't deal with the woman that's past the flower of her age, man. See, that's how you tell, that could, that's how you could tell this society is backwards. But it says, in the fifth verse, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Well, who has the earth been given it to the hand of? The earth is in the hand of the wicked, man. You see? It says, they, because they had transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant, man. So he took what is and how things are supposed to originally be ran. And, and flipped it to how he feels things should be ran. The woman should be the head of the household. The children should be able to do whatever the hell they want. You see? the um, I don't want uh, seeds and food. I could just make seedless grapes, seedless watermelons. You know? I could make GMO food. You see? I don't need uh, to do the land Sabbath. You see? I could just suck the, uh, the land, the oil out of the land dry, man. This is how this man thinks. This is what he does. You see? So th this place is out of order, man. And you people... Let me get this. It's Amos 5 and... I'm going to actually start with this. You know what? I'm going to actually get um Isaiah the 5th chapter. That's not bad scripture either, but I'm going to get Isaiah 50, 5 and 20. Right? Let me get this. This is Amos. So everything is turned upside down. This this devil's uh, rulership. This is um Isaiah 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were, were with a cart rope. That say, let him, him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good, right? Being a whore, you know, sleeping, you know, with multiple men. Which is going off according to the scriptures, you know? Doing whatever you want outside of the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Well, to them that call evil good, right? And good evil, you know? What he did was not evil. What he did was actually in the scriptures. What was actually practiced back in the ancient world. And it's going to come back uh, uh, in the world to come. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and, and, and sweet for bitter. You see? So the Lord sent destruction on to you, man. And let me get this. This is, um... Let 
Ash, you know what? I'm gonna have to make this quick. Bear with me. I had seen a script of him trying to find it. Type in law. Yep, there it is. This is a uh, second Maccabees four and seventeen says, "For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of Yahweh, but the time following shall shall declare these things." And it's being declared, man, that this society is running opposite of what the heavenly Father set up, man. Esau has destroyed what is, and the Lord's about to destroy him. You see, let me end it with this. This is Isaiah 29, which I was actually in the same chapter, in 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? And this is uh the elites, man, because the elites is behind all this. The elites are behind the disorder and disarray that you see on the planet Earth. So the Lord is going to send destruction unto them. It says, Surely your turn of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. But shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed of him say that framed it, he have no understanding? You see? And I'm going to skip down. And it says, that to the 18th verse, it says, And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, the scriptures, the truth. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, which is going into the, uh, the one third, the elect. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, speaking to you Edomites, man. You're the terrible one, starting with the elite banking families. And the scorner is consuming. All that watchful iniquity are cut off. And that's what's going to happen to you people that's down for this system. You will be cut off. Okay? One way or another, you will be cut off. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. You see? So the Lord's going, you people, you wicked people that want to be down for this system, the Lord's going to destroy you, okay? Because the world to come, the ancient, the uh, the the uh, the paths of old, the ancient ways that our forefathers had, is going to come back, man, but greater. So if you have a problem with that, that means you're going to have, a, most likely you're going to have a problem with the world to come. So the Lord's just going to have to get rid of you, you see? Call her Lord, lie, your how about Shema Shah. Baba Gesha, Baba Bo, Baba Bo, Baba Ha Ayabu, Baba Ha Ayabu. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the few Aqua, few few Israelites sisters that do listen, learn, and believe. Shalom. And uh, Shalom.